What's going on YouTube? Man, I'm excited about this unboxing. I have waited a long time for this device to not only get introduced and released, but to actually be able to pick one up. And just for uh, the sake of the video here, I'm probably gonna call this thing a lot of different names, uh, but this is the Lenovo IdeaPad Chromebook Duet 3 11-inch. <laughs> so this is pretty much the sequel to the, the Duet, um, the Chromebook Duet that was also famous over the past couple years, especially for it being a budget um, Chromebook that comes with the keyboard. So you guys should be familiar with that particular device. I did a few videos on that device and I know other people have done a ton of videos on it. So everybody had been waiting for this sequel to drop. I picked this one up from uh, Lenovo's website, Lenovo.com. I've been waiting on Best Buy to get it, but as of today, which is June 10th, they still don't have uh, the Chromebook Duet 3, all right, even though it should be the 2, but hey, who's keeping track here? Uh, they Best Buy does still have the larger Duet. I did review that one. That one was a little too large for me um, at the 13.3 inch. It did have a beautiful OLED display, but for it to be a tablet, it was just a little too large. Sorry, there's a gnat in here that's really <laughs> getting on my nerves. Um, and also they do have the original, here's the original Chromebook Duet, a 10.1 inch for $189. That one's on sale right now. Uh, four gigs of RAM, 128 gigs. So I really like that Best Buy offers um, the higher storage option at 128 gigs. I was hoping to get at least 128 on this particular device, um, but as of right now, there there's only one uh, storage option, which is the 64 gigs of storage. Now, mind you, I did order mine on Memorial Day. Uh, it was on sale for like 259, I wanna say, plus tax. Um, so I got a slightly better deal right now. It's on sale for 299. I did see it for 369 when they first introduced it. So it still is, yep, as you guys can see there, 70 bucks off. All right, so enough about the background there. Let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. I've been waiting on this to arrive today. So I went ahead and did all my chores and got that out of the way <laughs> just so I can enjoy this device. Let's get this thing cracked open. Um, so if you haven't seen my video that I did on the original duet and my thoughts on that, definitely go back into the history of my videos. Please subscribe and support the channel. We do appreciate it. So let's get all the paperwork out of the way and let's get to the good stuff. Let's get this box out of the way. All right, presentation does matter. Here we go. I'm loving the color uh, scheme here on the box. Very nice presentation. Old school plastic wrap here, no pull tab. So you are gonna have to use a safe unboxing knife, possibly, like I have here. Oh, we got a little little um, opening here. I guess we can just use that. Let's get this thing open, guys. Man, I'm pretty excited here. <sighs> so hard to find a good 11-inch tablet to compete with my, um, my iPad Pro 2018. All right, so let's crack it open. Lenovo Duet 11-inch. That's what we'll call it, just a Duet 11-inch. All right, let's see what we got here. We'll start out with the side. This has got to be a way to charge the device, which a lot of uh, companies don't provide anymore. So there we have, oh, I think this is going to be a 30-watt charger. At least that's what it appears to be there. And we do get the USB-C cable, okay. Little branding there, nothing else. All right, what else is in the box? So we do have our top piece 
Actually, let's go ahead and crack this open. I'm thinking this is gonna be the back plate and the keyboard. All right, so here we go. We've got, I love how they do their packaging here. So here we've got our back plate, which is very similar to the one that's on the 13 inch uh, duet. So it's just a one piece. If you guys remember the original duet 10.1 inch had like a, a two piece situation going on and it was a little thicker because it kind of separated here. But this is just a one piece with the bend and a slot for the uh, USI stylus that's sold separately. Here we go with the keyboard. All right, pretty decent key travel. Okay. Still got that similar material like the original. All right, so far so good. Now let's get to the, the main attraction here. All right, nothing else in the box. Okay. Oh, let me just double check and make sure. Nope. No, no stylus involved. All right, so here we have it. So let's just take a moment and appreciate the plastic. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got our nice little two-tone here on the back side, little badging. All right, so on the bottom, we've got our little pogo pins there to connect with the keyboard on this side, we have a speaker and a USB-C port. I'm thinking that's the power adapter. On the top, we've got the volume rockers. Looks like a couple microphones. And on the other side, another speaker. And we have another USB-C. So I'm trying to remember the original duet, if that one only had the one USB-C port I believe it just had one. So this one has two, so one on each side. So that's always always a great sign to have a USB-C on either side. We've got our camera up top there. And nice little heft to it. Um, not too heavy, but definitely feels premium. So I'll go ahead and we'll just power it on just to take a quick look at the screen. I do like the speaker placement. I know in the original, the speakers were at the top. So having them off to the sides, we'll see if that makes a difference. That was one of my gripes on the original is that the speakers were definitely uh, not up to snuff. <laughs> All right, so it appears I don't have any juice or it could be like most Chromebooks where you have to plug them up first um, before the screen will even come on for you. So that is it for the unboxing. So you guys have to tune in to the next video to get my first impressions on this thing once I get it all loaded up with all my apps and information. So the Chromebook Duet, they're calling it the three, but it is the 11 inch, four gigs of RAM for the memory, 64 gigs for storage. Tune in for the next video, guys. Peace.